Hey, hey, how's it going? Um, uh, today we'll be playing Detective Grimoire, Secrets of the Swamp. Secrets? Secret of the Swamp. And, um, it's pretty much a puzzle point and click adventure game, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, my goal today is to try and finish the game today. Considering the time I checked, it doesn't require a long time to beat it, so we'll see. Um, hopefully I, I am able to finish it today, but yeah, we'll see about that. So I guess let's just, let's just play it. So, um, it kind of sounds a bit loud, but I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not. Maybe I can bring it down a bit, probably. Give me a sec. Let me check the game audio. Okay. You should be hearing the game now, and I guess let's just... Yeah, let's just play. Um, let's go. Area, the beginning. Okay. Sound is important. Oh, I see. Huh. Alright. Twenty twenty five last night, a murder occurred in a remote part of this swamp. A small tourist attraction deep within the heart of the marsh. Hold on. A tourist attraction? Here? I don't get it. Why would anyone come here by choice? I've explained this already. This area is famous. Famous? All I read was that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago. Get your facts straight for once. We're talking about a creature that's lived in the swamp for over 60 years. Okay, so it's a 60-year-old alien. I still don't see what matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. That creature is our prime suspect. The what? murder suspect? That's right. This is no Loch Ness monster. You need to be taking this seriously. No, look, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? You've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As usual, we only know the bare essentials at this point. Okay. I think the sound is still quite loud. I might drop it down a bit more in a bit. Uh, founder in his office. Exact cause of death unknown. Three small wounds to the chest suggest an attack from a clawed creature. Slime around the wound and footprints. Uh-huh. Any of the seven other people present in the swamp last night could hold vital information. Oh, wow, look at that. Um. Okay. Uh, I see, so that's the suspect. Alright. Our murder victim, Richard Remington, he was in charge of this, uh, tourist attraction. Boggy's Bog? <laughs> what a name. Boggy what a name is the indeed. name of our creature. Well, nowadays it is. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. That thing is our murder suspect? There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character, I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. Oh, lost my hat there. Okay, chapter one, I see. Your case file is in the top right. All right. You can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. Okay. When you've collected some, of course. 
Right. I'll stay and guard our boat, so if you're confused, come back here and I'll help you. Okie dokie. Alright, um, settings. Oh. That might be why. I think speech could stay loud. Um. Yeah, I think speech could stay relatively loud. It doesn't seem to be registering that option. Um, auto save is on. All right. Okay, I think I need to put it down a bit more. Let's go for. still hitting the bars quite loudly. Why is that? That is weird. Okay, well hopefully it's alright and that you can actually hear me but alright. Um, let's see. Police file. Right, so I'm here. No clues, right? Suspects? Murder victim, alright. Okay, I guess let's just move on. What's this though? Ah, I see. That's where we have our point and click. Oh, who is this? <laughs> Wow, he didn't get lost yet. No, I... well, I only just got here. Who are you? You don't remember. <laughs> of course, you're not great at remembering. I should be offended, though. Um... I don't remember her. <laughs> I've never seen you before. Saw your hat blow through here already. You must be slow, if it wouldn't even wait for you. Well, if you let me, I'd better go after it. You can wait here and be You'll get lost! I would never forgive myself if I let you go through without the map. You have a map oh, of the swamp? okay. Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should really stay here. It's dangerous. There's been a murder. Although, I suppose you know all about it already? They're saying it was the creature, but it can't be him. He doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. Nope. He's a different sort of creature. Wait, what do you mean? If you... Hmm, she disappeared. Wow, okay. I might pretend I imagined her. <laughs> Alright. So I got a map. Okay, I think it's the... Yep, alright. Entrance. Get to the crime scene first. It's to the west side of the map. West. North, south, ah, this way. Okay. Okay, Doki. I guess there's no other. Is an opportunity for a photographic memento. The two characters are an explorer and Boggy himself. Are they fighting? That's a case note. Okay. Is an opportunity. The two okay, characters. Okay, okay, okay. Whoops. Um, is there any key that I can? Show if this I'm missing any stuff around the fence that seems to surround this entire area. I guess the I just that seems to start uh, clicking. Just an odd old tree. It's an old statue of Boggy. His feet are hidden in a bucket of murky water. Okay. Also, this is a pretty old game, I should say. So yeah, it might be a bit buggy. Maybe no, not buggy in a sense that. Um, there's something wrong with the game, but like, um, oh, 
should I say this? Um, what's the word? Like the mechanics might be a bit dated, right? Yep. I still don't quite understand why we have a tourist attraction here. Don't forget to use walk mode to move around. Just my luck, the gate's closed. Looks like I can move these metal latches around. Oh, I guess this is my first puzzle. Let's do this. I should this. just have to slide at least one of them out of the bottom of the lock. Then I'll be able to get through this gate. Probably. Wow, okay. Um... That was easy. Ta-da! I don't forget. Uh, oh, okay. Just my luck. Wait, Looks what? Like I, move. I should. Then I'll be a probably. Yeah. Uh, do I have to do both then? Oh. Wait, what? Hello. When I say the mechanics are... Hey, nice. I guess I had to do the this other is a one. This attraction? <laughs> okay. The whole thing just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Let's do some thinking. Okay. Drag any two stray thoughts into those slots at the bottom. Right. And flick through the connecting statements in between to make a sentence. Okay. Tap the confirm button to try it out. I just have to focus my thoughts and reach a conclusion. Boggy's bog seems like the middle of nowhere. Uh... Tourist attraction. Swamp. To make any money. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. Hmm. It's really bugging me. What's the story behind this place? Yeah, indeed. What is it? Uh, can I have more thoughts then? How do I get to my thoughts? You can click and hold the back button to exit immediately from menus. Back button. Eh? I don't understand. Alright, never mind. <laughs> um, I guess we... Go west. Oh, wow. A rather prominent tree stump looming over the wooden pathway. It's hard to ignore. These flower petals seem a little out of place, lying on the ground over there. These flower... Okay. Looks like this path leads towards the northwest corner of Bongi's Bog. I can't wait. Looks like this path... I... Okay. Looks like... I... Okay. A rather prominent... It's... Right. I should visit the crime scene before I do anything else. I think Officer James said it was to the west. Protest? Huh? That's a weird name for it. Uh, as in for this page, I guess. Ooh. There's a narrow path here leading up that hill and through the trees. Okay. It doesn't look inviting. I'm not sure it's part of the tourist attraction. Maybe not. I Okay, this looks... Mm. Rocks sitting in the water like stepping stones. If that was a natural occurrence, it's a very convenient one. So it's probably not a natural occurrence. Clearing. Uh, I guess I go this way. Which is here. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, there are bizarre footprints with three toes leading up to the office door and back down into those reeds by the water. What's this? There's a lockpick dropped amongst the weeds down here in the water. I just have to work out which vine to break and tap that button. Oh, wow. Okay, let's trace it then. Nope. So I guess this way... Tree. That's the one, but I wonder where this lockpick came from. Indeed. Uh, most likely used by the murderer to break into Remington's office. Could be, could be. There's like slime and stuff as well, I think. Hmm, so this is where they found Remington's body. Okay. A map, yeah, okay. Uh... The strange footprints stop right by these reeds. Maybe I should take a closer look. Maybe, Maybe I can move some of them out of the way. <laughs> oh, what's strange this? A pair of green flippers, badly hidden in the reeds outside the office. Oh. Strange green flippers. Who left this lying around? This one kind of suggests that someone dressed up as Boggy to kill um, Rang Remington. Is that a guy's name? Remington, yeah. To frame Boggy, as if we need there to. There are bizarre footprints with three toes and back. As if we need to. There are bizarre okay. and back down into. Uh. I don't like it here. What was I gonna say? There's an open window above Remington's body. One of the curtains is ripped and hanging on the outside. So I guess he was pushed out. The window. That's why his body is here. I don't... Ah, uh, I can't get in here without a... Maybe if I get done. Wait, don't I have a lockpick? Can't I use the lockpick? Um, okay, I guess I can't. Ah, uh, I can't, maybe if I can. Huh. So where should I go now? Ah, uh, I can't. I guess we, oh. Ah, some suspects. Let's get this investigation started. Hmm? <laughs> All right, let's hmm? see. Another suspect for my notebook. <laughs> That's a little rude. No, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, did I say that bit out loud? Maybe not. Maybe I can hear your thoughts. So would you be able to answer my questions before I asked you? Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? I could try. I'm Bobby Burl, professional cameraman. Pleased to meet you. I'm Detective Grimoire. I'm here to investigate last night's murder. Obviously. Grimoire. Strange. Is that your first name? It's my 23rd name. Uh, it's my second name. Detective is my f- <laughs> Uh... Okay, let's go for that. It's my second name. Detective is my first name. Lol. Okay. What should I talk about? Okay. Your job- So you already told me what you do, but now- why would a cameraman be working here? I go where I'm needed. Vincent wanted to come to the swamp, and I was happy to help. Vincent Vandepeer? You mean that man standing on that rock over there? That's right. I've worked with him for many years. Is he your boss? Oh, I don't know about that. We work together. He's tried to film here before, but he never got permission until about a week ago. Oh, really? But why did he want to come here in the first place? If you're looking for a reason to write down in your notebook, I'm sure he can tell you if you ask him. I'm just the guy <laughs> who right, carries around right. the camera. You always carry that camera with you? Most of the time. I wonder, would he, would his camera have um, captured any uh, evidence? 
You were here yesterday, I presume? Last night? Yes, I was. Uh, here, in this clearing? No, I was over at the cafe getting something to eat. Richard Remington was there, too. Remington? You saw him last night? Uh, just before the murder? That's right, I saw him. He left the cafe looking rather ill. I offered to help, but he just wanted to go back to his office. He looked like he had a lot on his mind. He was ill yesterday? Perhaps it was something he ate. Ah, oh, there's two missing things here as well. Present a clue. Whoa, what was that? Why is this suddenly turning into a horror game? <laughs> well, not a horror game, but like... Something flew past my desk and I don't know what it was. Okay, sorry about that. Um, right. Maybe I should ask about the flippers. Hmm, present a profile. This? You should ask someone else. Okay. What this? is it? Some evidence from last night's murder? Okay, I guess I don't really have much to ask you. What's this though? Tree? One? Not suspicious. Oh, suspicious. I see. That's okay. Then what about this? Huh. Okay. Let's talk to Vanderpier. Yes. Do you have a message for me? Uh, no. I I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm incredibly busy. You don't look it. Who are you anyway? <laughs> what a question. You're serious? I, I am, am Vincent Vanderpeer. The famous movie director? The artist, the visionary, the auteur. I'm a man of many talents. Okay. Hey artist. How are you doing? I'm pretty good actually. Having a little <laughs> wrecking my brains pretty much on this puzzle. What about you? Let's hope you have a talent. Uh, oh, I probably shouldn't say this. That's great. Let's hope you have a talent for answering my questions. You're in my light. Could you take a few steps back, please? But then I'll be too far away to talk to you. I know. <laughs> Can anyone just walk in here and start filming? Wow, okay. Um Interesting. Stacy oh, has always had only recently got a mission from Ah, okay. Vincent van der Peer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder if Mr. Vanderpeer has been breaking rules. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. Hey. Stream's pretty good so far. It's a bit uh, confusing at the moment because of the game itself. Like, it's a murder mystery. So, yeah, just trying to get through that. So let's see. I heard this isn't the first time you've tried to film here. Where? In the in the swamp? What are you talking about? Uh this one. has denied you the filming permission in the past. Oh that? Nothing but the natural process of being in a profession like mine. Every situation simply requires the right approach before the gears start turning smoothly. You understand, I'm sure. Why did Remington not want you filming here? And why did he change his mind? 
It wasn't even up to him. This area is protected, you know. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. That doesn't explain why he changes too. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> Time to use my notebook. Just drag yes. an item onto the paper to draw the idea. Draw the idea? What? Drag an item into the space to draw it. Oh, that no, no, no. It. No, 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 no. It should be this then. Right. That's the one. Uh -huh. I think you bribed Remington to get the filming rights. Well, bribe is a strong word. It was just a little arrangement between friends. Nothing worth getting upset about. I simply promised him a cut of my next movie's profits. It made sense, since he owned the area anyway. Just a favor for a favor. So you would have owed him money? Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. And not for a long time, either. Not for a long time? Huh. He seems even more suspicious now. But will he be that evil to actually kill someone for it? What's a famous guy like you doing in a place like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> quite, quite. I'm sure you're thinking, why doesn't he send an assistant? But that's not the way this director works. But what are you doing? I'm feeling, I'm experiencing, I'm discovering. This area, the history, the atmosphere, it's the perfect setting for my next film. I'm on a scouting mission to get to know this swamp before I begin work on the latest masterpiece in a string of masterpieces. You're making a movie about Boggy? About the swamp creature? Of course. He's a fascinating individual, isn't he? So mysterious. No idea. I haven't met him yet. Uh, is that your cameraman over there? Yes, that's right. Bobby Burl, my faithful right-hand man. Well, faithful enough, you know. No, I don't Faithful, know. He's huh? an expert cameraman. Really knows his trade, of course. But he gets a bit muddled when it comes to priorities. Uh, like how? You mean he's lazy? He doesn't look lazy. He looks a bit scary. Oh no, nothing of the sort. He just has a little hobby that sometimes distracts him from his work. Hobby? But I wouldn't want anyone else shooting for me. Huh. Okay. Were you working yesterday? Uh, here in the swamp, I mean? Indeed I was working. Very hard indeed. Well into the night. Hmm. Hard work, is it? Getting to know the swamp? You jest. But yesterday I was getting even more involved than usual. Yes. Difficult to comprehend, I know. So what kind of work were you doing? Well, I was, uh, unable to find my faithful cameraman last night. He had hidden himself quite completely from view. Bobby Burl. What right? do you mean by Did that? Did you need him to film for you? Always. But being a resourceful type of man, I stepped up and took on the responsibility myself. I was filming in this exact area, in fact. You were filming? Oh. Last night? Here? Yes. At the time of the murder, I believe. But wait, I know what you're thinking. Now, don't forget, I'm not here to shoot some experimental documentary. I have no interest in late-night surveillance footage. Did you see anything at all? What is it you were filming? The water. I was filming the water. It's a fascinating subject, one that has me captivated to the point where so, I... So, you didn't see anything useful? <laughs> Nothing useful to you, my good detective. But there are some odd sounds on the audio track. Nothing but wild animals going about their nighttime rituals, I'm sure. I s would like to have that, though. the cameraman. Uh... Light to me you came to the swamp. Uh... Nowhere to be found. Oh wait, yeah, this one. 
Help me do it. Vincent Vanderpeer told me that Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night. Simple enough. What was Mr. Burl doing last night that meant he couldn't help out his boss? Didn't he say that he was eating or finding something to eat? Footage red. Oh, nice. Uh huh. There's nothing to see, but various clues can be heard on the. Oh, okay. Listen to them in order. Interesting. So it does kind of detail that somebody actually hit him and and pulled pushed him out the window. And then he probably tried to prevent himself from falling by grabbing onto the um curtains. What is this though? Maybe it's the sound of the person throwing out the um, lockpick. Hmm. Hello, got another question for you. I heard from Mr. Vanderpure over there that you were nowhere to be found last night. Hmm. Didn't I say I was at the cafe? Yeah, you did. But your director needed you for some filming and he couldn't find you. What were you doing that was so important? Well, let's see. After I ate, I had to walk around the swamp. I didn't have my camera, so I was free to stretch my legs for once. Where was your camera? Don't you carry it around with you all the time? No, not all the time. Uh... Huh. I think this should be the right answer. You left it with Vanderpeer, and he used it instead that night. That's right, he was looking after that camera. So I went for a late night stroll. This place is beautiful in the evenings. You just walked around? You didn't do anything? Didn't see anyone? Well, I can't say that. I have various ways to pass the time, you know. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did say this. Vanda Pierce said you had a hobby on the side. Is that what he said? Well, yes, he's right. I brought two cameras with me when I came here. I left my video camera, yes, but I have another one. It's much smaller, and it only takes black and white photographs. You know the oh, kind I mean? A really old one? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. I've always enjoyed traditional photography, and this place is a wonderful opportunity to take some pictures of a natural environment. So, you were having some time off to take black and white photographs? For fun? Only one photograph. You have to be disciplined when you're not using a digital camera. Can I see it? Of course. I took it near the woods at the back of the swamp. It's quite an interesting shot, but the light qualities weren't perfect. Here we are. Uh, feel free to take a look. Wait, what? This is a photo? Mm hmm I haven't developed it yet. I only took it last night. Just brush the developing fluid over the photo to reveal the... Ha-ha! <laughs> okay. Oh wow, what the... What? Is that... is that boggy? The, the swamp creature is just standing in the water? It could be. Personally, I'm not convinced, but I'll let you decide for yourself. Huh. I'm pretty sure this is not boggy, but someone dressed as boggy. Okay, I think I exhausted uh, the conversation besides this locked uh, options, so let's go elsewhere to see who else we can find. Ooh. I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't st This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. Oh, the one we found on the... The one we found on the bridge, I think. I don't think it's a window. This right, right, right. Okay. Um... 
it's a stepping stone path that goes past the museum and into the woods. So glad I'm wearing my best shoes today. <laughs> Is there sarcasm? Sarcasm? Sar sarcasm. Sarcasm. Uh, no thanks, Artis. I'm, uh... I'm not interested in it. The door's jammed unless I can get these brass handles out of the way. Seems like I can rotate them around, just until the gap in the middle is clear. That top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. Oh, hello. Let's see here. This journal belonged to the explorer who first discovered Boggy in this swamp 60 years ago. Okay. Hmm. I'd better take a look at this. Yes, we shall. Oh, you can just pick it up like that. This journal, huh, it's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. Okay, shown with three claws, always hidden in the water. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, okay. Models of Boggy's claws. Hold on. What's this? Something doesn't seem right here. I think I should try arranging these models into pairs. Something seems out of place. Oh. Eh? I don't think these gloves are part of the exhibit. I see. Oh, looks like someone tried to hide them here. Interesting. Yeah, someone is um someone is dressed as Boggy, I think, to commit the murder. Question is who now, right? It's a poster from the old Boggy cartoon show. <laughs> swamp Studios, providing the best in swamp-based animated entertainment. It says another story from Boggy's Bog, but actually. I think this is from the very first episode. Copyright MCM XXXIV. That would be 19, 1930, 1934? It's a poster from the old It's a poster. Okay, I think I've exhausted that. Some educational facts about swamps. Did you know swamps are gross? Yes, <laughs> yes I did. Yep. Apparently, this is the exact hat worn by the explorer 60 years ago. Uh, it seems everyone is destined to lose a hat or two in this damn swamp. Oh yeah, that's right. I've lost mine as well. Um... There's a little door in the wall here. I think it leads outside. It's locked though. Okay. So... Let me guess, you don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, detective. I am no mere tourist. How did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat? My sensitive, inquisitive manner? It was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking <laughs> about? Yeah, that's the one. Right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? Agent Folder. Um, interesting. I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face. So, if you're not a tourist, and you don't work here... I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. <laughs> oh, there's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The swamp creature. 
He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it, people have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. A wise suggestion. And you've come to the right person. My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. So, you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. <laughs> wow, if you're in the okay. For a little light reading. Let yeah, me find sure. it for you. Oh, yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners, at least. Beginners? Wow, okay. Information about Boggy. Became a protected area after reports of hunting in the area. Appearance has changed from the original sketches, in which he has three claws on each arm. Modern character has simple thin like arms instead to make him less threatening. Okay. No footprints were recorded in the journal, but some experts believe that information is out there somewhere. I see. Alright. And what about last night then? So, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Yeah. Uh were you here yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here. In the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key to every lock, detective. Oh, so you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... Once again, that clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking me out, so I don't let him. You just admitted to break huh. the law. If everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. It's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I don't... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. Then what are you gonna do? Report me to Remington? Good luck, my friend. I so need the to lock pick, pick my questions carefully. The lockpick belongs to him then. Uh... The lockpick I found near Remington's body might belong to Agent Folder. Yeah. The lockpick. I found near Remington's body might belong to Agent Folder. As far as I know, Agent Folder is experienced with lockpicks. I wonder if he's hiding something. Yeah, okay. Unlocked. Nice. Let's start. I have a bone to pick with you. Are you setting yourself up for a joke? Something about a lockpick? Maybe. Who knows? Stop distracting me. I'm trying to interrogate you. My apologies. Go ahead. So, what are we showing Folder now? Oh, I have to present a clue. This, Where I guess. Where did I find this again? Um, outside office. I found a lockpick at the scene of the crime. Oh, apparently you did. Why does this concern me? Uh... You said no, you were at a crime scene and might know who dropped it. No, this one. You already admitted to owning one of these, and how you're ever so happy to come and go as you please with it, am I right? Be honest. Luckily for me, detective, I was honest with you. I believe I have already explained that second lockpick before you even found it. Wait, what? You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. That's right. I appreciate you finding it for me. However, I won't ask for it back. Apparently it has since become some diabolical instrument in the art of murder. Yeah, it's an important piece of evidence. Okay, I think I completed that properly. Properly. Um... I guess I can ask him about these. Oh wait, well, what about these? Actually, this is a classic example of a cryptid photograph. What's a cryptid? A creature unknown to science. Look at the slight blurring in this photo, the, the murky exposure. It's perfect. It's perfect because it can't really be used as evidence? Now you're catching on. Okay. 
The real swamp creature had claws. Three on each hand, to be precise. But why does the costume just have these pathetic fins instead? I see, so it- I see, okay. I guess it goes dark when, I, or, when I've already showed it to him. Guesswork. Nobody can know what Boggy's feet look like. It's his greatest secret. Okay. Um... An important piece of the puzzle. This journal is a key to unlocking the history of this place. Right. I guess that's it. Profile. Uh, Are you asking about the cartoon character? Because I have no interest in such childish matters. <laughs> no, I think I'm asking about the actual creature. Yes, What's the actual the creature. Anyway? Everything! Oh, wow. Okay. You are very, very adamant about it. Adamant? Is that a word to use? Mm. Next time, only show me something if it's important. Let's make that a rule. Wow, okay. I'll try. I guess I come to you again. I think, I think we're done there. Let's move on. Ooh, what is this place? The woods. Oh, what is this then? Hmm. Oh, I guess this must be the office. Which I can't enter because of a locked door. Right, okay. The water's clear here. I can see my reflection in it. Not bad. Not bad. The rock path leading back towards the museum. Okay. So this what staircase is, there? is a tree. And this tree is a staircase. And this place is so weird. <laughs> Okay, I guess there's nothing else to do but go up. Oh, that looks very dangerous. Oh, tree house! Someone I think. please tell me why there's a house here. Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. Um, I guess we. I wouldn't be using this old rope bridge if I had a choice. I've seen the movies, I know what happens. Indeed. I guess we Someone go in. Tell me. Well... <gasps> Alright. The latch is broken on the store. Seems I could fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Right. Oh, yay, more puzzles. Let's do this. Um, right. I guess? No. Do I need to use all of them? Sorry, had to sneeze a bit. So I muted myself. Um, guess that doesn't work. This? No, that doesn't seem like it fit. Uh, how about... No, that... Yep. Definitely needs a big one there.
<laughs> I'm stumped. Uh, this two, yeah, they're the same size. You can't reach, so there's no point putting a small one there. It has to be a big one. This? Oh. Right. So I used an extra that one. Sunlight beaming through the window. That I didn't have to use. <laughs> it's so bright I should have brought my sunglasses. This is like an oven? Or is it just a boiler? Ah, it's so old fashioned it hurts my brain. The owner of this house seems to enjoy reading. Though I'm not sure what else there is to do up here actually. True. I'm indoors. What a treat. A little blanket on a little bed in a little house. It makes very little sense. I'm indoors. There's a whole load of needles and wool on that shelf. Or should I say yarn? I just don't know anymore. The tree comes straight through the middle of the house. It even has little drawers carved into it. Okay, even I'll admit, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay. The tree. It even. Okay, even. I guess I'll... let's just talk to her then. Check out that. <laughs> Hello. You just walked straight into my house, did you? Um. Sorry, I would have rung the bell, but you don't have one. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. But I can make exceptions for harmless <laughs> idiots. Do you get any wow, attention? Okay. okay. Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge. And I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. <laughs> I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. Right. I guess let's just ask her stuff. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And I have absolutely nothing to do with him. Or okay. his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, anyone. I, I like numbers. 60 years, something like that. What have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. So I she's older than 60. Here, but I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. Okay. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow. Ooh. How do you do that? Chemistry. <laughs> chemistry. She's so sassy. I like her. Okay, green and red species only grow around the side door of the museum and can't find can't be found anywhere else. Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Yeah. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Oh, that sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here. In my house by myself. Mm-hmm. What else? That's it. That doesn't seem Thanks. helpful. Just give me a minute to write all this down. Huh, okay. So, didn't unlock a challenge. Ooh. Let's see. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the cauldron. Then tap the faucet. Now, we just have to match the color of that liquid with these ingredients. Match the color of the liquid? 
green. What makes green? That's purple. That's no. not Come on, Grimoire. I'm not good at colors, honestly. Uh, what makes green? Blue and yellow? Yes! Got it! Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. Nice! That was pretty cool. Um, so I guess this Let's one see. as well. First thing we then tap. Yeah. Uh, it's probably the same because it's also from the swamp. I guess. Got it! Now I know. I'll write. Huh. That looks pretty similar to last time. Yeah, so... Hmm, I guess there's nothing else to... I'm not even sure who that is. You're just checking. I have nothing good to say about that man. So I won't say anything at all. Hmm, I see. What about this you one? You should ask someone else. Huh, okay. I guess maybe I can come back when I unlock something or find something useful. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Predictably, a trash can, and I just can't resist taking a look inside. <laughs> the glamorous life of a detective. Indeed. My favorite part of the job. Maybe there's something underneath the trash in here. Maybe. Possibly. Usually. Oh. Hello, what's this? Just a piece of paper? Or something more sinister? So someone was planning. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, someone was planning the costume. Well, we know Are that. Are really talking about a swamp creature here? Hmm... I found in the trash... Can I explain what... ...is showing me? This? The costume design I found in the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo is showing me. My detective's intuition is kicking in. That black and white photograph. I'm not sure I'm looking at the real Boggy here. And I think these designs I found in the trash can might be the answer. I'll ask around, see if anybody knows anything about this. Oh, and I should start looking for the costume itself. If I can find that, there'll be some pretty impressive evidence. Yep, that is true. Oh, chapter 2. Nice. Oh, wait. Chapter 2. How many chapters are there in this game? I probably should have checked that previous, um, before I played. Wait, let me check it right now. Just give me a second. Um, just to see, you know. Wait, how many chapters... Active Grimoire Secret of the Swamp. So, so. Um. Eh? Doesn't seem to tell me how many chapters. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, five. Oh, it seems there's five chapters. Okay. That's not too many. Um, right, let me get my windows back in order. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> I have something for you. Another gift already. Where are you keeping all this stuff? You don't even have pockets in that dress. <laughs> I don't need a pocket to carry a key. Oh, what key? a key. Oh, I don't know. You could try it on any door you like. Although, I recommend you try it on that office door. Remington's office? Mm-hmm. 
Who is this little girl? She is... Predictably, attract the glass. Right, 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 nope. Brass tree. Nothing usual. A shipwreck? In a swamp? Does that make any sense? Nothing usual. I mean, nothing unusual. And why is there a cafe growing out of the side? The tables and chairs are made out of parts of a ship. Okay. I think. Never really learned much about ships. There's a wooden path built right into the shipwreck. The rope bridge leads up through those trees. Do they expect tourists to climb up there? It looks dangerous. Mm. I ah, guess let's talk yes. to them. I heard they were sending somebody over. So you're Detective Grimoire. At Indeed. your service. Well, uh, kind of. Uh, you're a suspect too. <laughs> of course, of course. Feel free to be as suspicious as you like. I won't be offended. You can call me Harper. How did you know my name? I can only assume I must have read about one of your many exploits. But I think you'll find this swamp to be your greatest challenge. What's so challenging about an old swamp? The swamp itself has a history that has captured many imaginations. For better or for worse. My advice to you, look to the past. It could be the way forward. Look to the past. Hmm. Oh, hey, I unlocked something. Maybe I should return to the previous few characters. So, you sit in this boat all day and sell food to people? To tourists, I guess? Not just the tourists, but the employees too. To anyone who is hungry or thirsty. I know everyone's favorite foods. What are they? Oh, and is this a real shipwreck? How did it get here? Uh, I can't expose all the secrets of the swamp. I don't want to spoil <laughs> okay. your fun. Is there a secret to this shipwreck? No. You just spoiled my fun. You'll find out there are some secrets worth keeping when you've worked here as long as I have. Well, how long is that? I've worked in the swamp almost as long as Mr. Remington. We knew each other for a long time. Really? Oh, okay. So what was his favorite food? Mr. Remington enjoyed a specialty only I can make. The bog dog. He ate one nearly every day. A real creature of habit, that one. It looks like a hot dog. It's similar. But I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. I'm not serving them today. Why not? Yesterday I found this strange green powder in my entire supply. Guess I'm out of luck today. Well, thanks for the information. You've been a real big help. Wait, wait, take this with you. If you get thirsty, it's the most popular drink in Boogie's Bog. Swamp juice. Try it. It looks like... it looks... Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll try some later on. Yep. You're in luck. That's my last bottle. A lot of swamp juice has been disappearing from my stock recently. Interesting. I, I must have been selling them all. Did something strange happen at the cafe yesterday? So someone's been stealing swamp juice and someone has, I guess, in a sense, pampered with the bog dog? Yeah, I think this is it. Richard Remington left the cafe feeling ill after Hopper sold him a bog dog. Hopper is basically in charge of all the food and drink here in Boggy's Bog. I'll have to ask him about this. Nice, all right. I guess we save that for later. You're going to ask me about what I was doing last night. Yep. I was going to? Were you going to tell me anything? I was working here at the cafe in the evening. I had a couple customers. Eventually they all left and I locked up and went home. Do you lock away everything at night? 
Not everything. Just the storeroom over there. You mean that little door on the side of the ship? Is there anything else to lock? I leave the chairs, tables, and trash can where they are. Lifting things like that is not a job for an old man. Don't you well, have you got a to point there. Mr. Remington like to keep us down to his skeleton stuff. There simply aren't many people who would choose to work in a place like this. A that is true. Staff? Well, that's convenient for him since... Don't make that joke. I won't laugh. <laughs> okay, I am laughing though. Someone made a costume to look like the creature. They must have known it would get reaction for sure. But I wonder if they planned things to go this far. When you're finished theorizing, I was going to show you these sketches I found in the trash can right next to your cafe. Hmm, it does seem like someone was designing a costume. A disguise, perhaps? I don't know. Try to think why somebody would do such a thing. I don't know. What could they achieve with it? I don't know. Not yet. Wow, okay. I was told Remington left the cafe looking ill last night. Since you seem to be completely in charge of all the food and drink around here, I'm afraid this is something I can't ignore. He was an old man. His health wasn't perfect. But I'm not arguing with you. I think it is suspicious. What do you think caused it? What do I think caused it? <laughs> A bog dog he ate at the cafe gave him food poisoning. I keep all my food locked in the storeroom when I'm not here. You think he was poisoned? I think he was poisoned. Poisoned by me? Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure if it was broken into though. But I assume it has been since, like, the bog dog is contaminated. The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. A lockpick? I've never encountered a problem like this before. But since last night, am I in a position to doubt a claim like that? Somebody knew that Remington would eat a bog dog. He ate one every day, right? Do you suppose this explains the missing bottles of swamp juice as well? Possibly. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't think I can show him anything else. Yeah, I don't think it's. So I guess let's ask him. Uh, ask him about the other people. He was a friend for many years. If you have any questions about him or his belongings, I may be able to help you. Oh. Well, I don't think. Why don't you show that to someone else? <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't think uh, he would. I don't think I I have anything um, of Remington yet. I think the next thing for me to do is go back to his office to see. Your prime suspect, am I correct? Well, technically, but I'm not even sure he's real. Don't worry about that. Real or not, the creature's the most important part of this mystery. Which one? The cartoon character or the real creature? Exactly. <laughs> wow, okay. Speaking in riddles. You have a lot of suspects on that list. Oh wait, I need to ask if this person was by. I don't know what to say. Okay, well, fine. Uh, a lot of juice has been disappearing. Right. Um. I guess let's just explore the whole map. Oh, hello. Right. Okay, that is the last one. And then after this, we can go back to his office. It's a humble gift shop wagon. Let's take a look. Bonky dolls, bonky toys, bonky postcards. Yeah, this stuff isn't half bad. A bonky spot? Maybe I'll get one and surprise Officer James for Christmas. <laughs> Brightly colored bonky baseball caps. Is there something behind them? 
Oh. Brightly cut. Is there? Oh. What on earth? This thing doesn't seem to belong here at all. It's the head. Oh, is that it's a curtain? It's some kind of roughly made costume head. I think. There's a strange piece of red fabric stuffed inside. Two clues for the price of one, I guess. It's a photo of the swamp entrance. Or it could be a painting. There's could be. really no way to tell, you know? I guess. It's a framed drawing of Boggy. What a shame, it's not even signed. <laughs> it's a map of the swamp. Mine seems a little older than this one, though. Boggy doll. Okay. Well, I wouldn't wear it. Maybe to sleep in. You know, not outside. Right. Okay, I guess let's talk to the lady. Oh, wait. Rip from some curtains, yep. I did think it was the curtains. Hmm? Um, sorry to interrupt. I can see that you're, uh, hard at work. You weren't here yesterday. Did you miss me? What? What kind of question is that? Uh... Oh, no. Uh, I... Well, I only just arrived. You're the detective, right? I'm a detective. So, that was your hat I saw blowing through here. Hmm, you spotted it too. If you're good at your job, you may have realized that it's kind of dead around here. So, I generally notice magical floating detective hats. Oh, and don't worry, you look better without it. How do you know? Oh, I have a good imagination. Huh, why do these people know me? I didn't expect to see someone your age working in a place like this. But then again, I didn't expect there to be a place like this in a place like this. I only started working here this year anyway. It's temporary. Just running the gift shop to earn a little extra money. Don't ask how I ended up here. I'll save that question for a different day. You don't seem at home here, exactly. I hate it. This place is disgusting. Come on, you don't think it's kind of beautiful? <laughs> you would say that. You only just got here. You'll True. Get sick of it. If I wasn't here, I'd be stuck in my office doing paperwork. At least at your office, you don't have to bring spare clothes every day. It's impossible to leave this place without being covered in dirt. Challenge accepted. When you have a moment free from your busy schedule, I need to ask you about last night. I know, but it won't help. I worked here during the day, then left my gift shop and went home in the evening, same as every day. You just leave your gift shop here when you go? No, I put it in my pocket. Yeah, seriously <laughs> though, as much as I appreciate sarcasm, I think I'd get in trouble if I wrote something like that down in my notes. Well look, you've noticed the gift shop has wheels and you're thinking, oh, she's pretty lazy to leave it lying around. But if you want to try pushing this thing through the swamp, be my guess. And I can't lock it up, so I just leave it here overnight. Nobody's ever stolen any of this lousy merchandise anyway. I even left my spare clothes here when I went home last night. You left them here? By the gift shop? Yeah, it's no big deal. They were all still here this morning. Kind of. Kind of? I think someone played a stupid joke, and my spare black leggings were covered in some disgusting swamp slime when I found them in the bag this morning. I see. If you're so going to take my clothes mm. and mess them up, then just keep them. I don't want them back. You know what I mean? I absolutely do. Right, so someone, yeah, someone, I guess, borrowed her leggings to complete the costume and then returned it and left the head here as well. I have a theory that the murderer was wearing a costume, a homemade outfit designed to look like the swamp creature. I've never seen anything so ridiculous. You've never seen me in that. I know it's not exactly the latest fashion, but... No, you'd never see me in that. It would cover me up entirely. That's... that's the point of a disguise? <sighs> Look, detective. When you have legs like mine, you don't want to be wearing disguises. Is that why you wow. always wear those black okay. legs? Okay. You've only just met me and you're making assumptions about what I always wear. 
And making assumptions is the fun part of being a detective. <laughs> I oh, guess so. Right. I always wear these. Um, alright. Oh, I think I- oh, I got all of it. Um, boggy head. When did I get that? Is that one of your clues? It's nice. You can put it away now. <laughs> okay. Um... Let me ask you about Remington. I'm not sure I always got paid, so I can't say anything bad about him. You can if you like. He won't hear you. You should have more respect for the dead. I know. <laughs> Alright. What I about think Boggy? the cartoon character is kind of dumb. What about the real creature? I've never met him. Me neither. Okay. Is that one of the other suspects? They're more suspicious than me. Let's agree on that. Hmm. Is that your new friend? Sweet. Right. I guess there's not much. I think I need to unlock this last thing. I wonder where... I, I guess maybe it's in the office. Possibly. Oh wait, I'm going back that way. I want to see where that leads me then. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, there's a hollow part of the tree uh, right at the front, but it's too dark to see inside. There's a. I see. It's the base of a gigantic tree, and it's sitting in the very heart of the swamp. Was this entire place built around it? Ooh. Did you see that? There's a hollow part of the tree. Note to self, don't fall in. Wow, okay, so someone is actually inside there. Who there? Hmm, okay. Even though I have the key, this might not be as simple as I'd hoped. Oh, why is that? This door has two keyholes. <laughs> okay. So, which key should I use in each one? Um. Uh, I guess this one. And this one. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Why is there so many? I staring back. Remington's desk is covered in drawings and maps and notes. It's all about Boggy. Uh, he was obsessed. An ink bottle spilled into his work. I'm sure he didn't do that on purpose. Yep, pretty sure that wasn't the case as well. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a mess. Perhaps there's something underneath those drawings. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Oh. It's a note addressed to Richard Remington. The handwriting is immaculate. Richard, our man of the world. A little help is in order. We're worried that the efforts regarding our elusive little friend might be in vain. Send word when you can. The letter is signed FF. FF. And attached is a blurry little picture. It's some kind of metallic insect. The whole thing is a mystery. I have no idea. Huh. Oh. Vincent Van Der Peer's business card. There's a couple of numbers scribbled on the back. Vincent Van Der Peer. It's a letter before something. My dear fellow, I received your note two weeks ago, but have only recently found the time to do the appropriate research on the matter. I feel like my time in this awful swamp might finally come to a close. All due to the simple realization, hmm, the rest is obscured. What a tease. <laughs> what a tease indeed. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. I received what I've only- I feel- Oh, hmm. There's a map of the swamp lying on the desk. It's been annotated in a few places. There's a annotated. map of the swamp. Annotated. Vincent van der- There's oh. a- Okay, I guess I can't move this away. 
Hmm. Something happened here. There are signs of a struggle between the desk and the window. An old hunting rifle discarded carelessly near the window. This isn't the kind of thing I can ignore. Did they try to shoot the intruder? Photos and paintings line the wall above the fireplace. But one of the frames is empty. Oh, somebody stole a photo? Wait a second. What are these pieces on the floor underneath it? This photo is ripped, but it looks important. Oh, okay. If I okay. can piece it together again, maybe it'll reveal a secret. Maybe. All right. Let's do this then. Um. Always get the corners. Okay. So this. Huh. All right. This should be here. Mm -hmm. This one here? Yeah. There we go. This photograph. And it's a young Remington. And then some other men I don't know. They're all holding rifles. I guess this is Remington's hunting club. Maybe I can ask Harper about it. Oh yeah, maybe. Because they were old friends, right? And it's torn, so... Possibly one of them is the actual murderer then. Oh, why, why, why is this picture picked up? Is this Harper? Oh, this is young Remington. Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. My brain is pretty much slowing down right now. Hunting memorabilia. Claws, teeth. It would be an impressive collection if it wasn't so disturbing. That is very true. I mean, these, these are creepy. Creepy? They're all... Creepy. They're, they're not... I don't recognize any of them. Oh. These animals. Really? The open window looks over the wooden planks outside. Oh, and on one side, a part of the curtain has been ripped off. We do know that. I don't know what's in that jar, and I wish it wasn't in there. I'm going to stop looking at it now. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that looks a bit weird. Is this, like, alien? Um... The thingy that come, pops out of your chest? Maybe not. Uh, I think I'm this done in here. This is the office I've ever been in. This is the creep. Okay. It is the creepiest office. It's a sharp metal poker. For a fireplace. Hidden in the shadows. Something about those three prongs. I feel like I just stumbled across an incredibly important piece of evidence. What? Really? A small amount of dried blood. Oh, this could be the murder weapon then. Have I uncovered a secret in here? Um, this proves historical shouldn't be the reason. Explains why. Found at a crime scene, belonged to a secret society, was a ghost, murdered the victim. Hmm, Sally's face. Wait. Footprints, all the suspects. Uh, shouldn't be the reason. Oops. Um, I hit my watch on the desk, so I apologize if you heard that. Apologize if you heard that? I apologize if you heard that. <laughs> wow, my brain is uh, cutting out words now. 
I'm not sure if I can complete this game today. I'm way too tired for some reason. Uh, this proves that... It's historical evidence that... Was found at the crime scene. This? It's historical evidence that the hunting rifle was found in the crime scene. That sounds wrong though. Um, broken mirror. Belong to a secret society? Guess we try this? Shouldn't be the reason. Uh, murdered the victim. Richard Remington shouldn't be the reason the hunting photo belonged oh, to a no. secret society. This one. No, that. Richard Remington is historical evidence that the hunting photo oh. belonged to a secret society. What is. Th no, no, no. This, this, this. <laughs> the hunting photo is historical evidence that Richard Remington belonged to a secret society. I'm getting a strong feeling that Remington might be the bad guy in this story. If he wasn't already dead, I would have loved to ask him a couple of questions. I should ask around, see if I can gather any information about his motives for being here. Chapter 3, okay. I guess... That's one, two, three more chapters, right? Three, four, and five? Three, four, five, yeah. Right, so I guess let's go... Uh, ask... Ask. Let's go back. Um, let's just use the map. I don't remember where the people are. Okay. Uh -huh. Hello. Oh. I found these designs for a costume. A boggy costume. Aha. Uh -huh. The legendary swamp creature. Yeah, that's the one. But these are just a child's drawings, are they not? You think? Hmm. Perhaps. It's difficult to tell. Indeed. And we've unlocked the last option, so I guess let's go one whole round to ask everyone about it. You saw Remington last night, but had you met him before? Did you know him? I've never really spoken with him, but we've come into contact a few times. Vincent likes to handle that kind of work, and I like to let him. What do you think of this place? The tourist attraction, I mean. I can't say I like the idea of a natural area like this becoming commercialized. I know! I just can't understand why anyone would even try! I think Mr. Remington had his reasons. He looked like a man with a couple of secrets. Like what? I have no idea. If I knew, they wouldn't be secrets. <laughs> Good point. Uh, let's see if there's anything I... Maybe I should ask. Oh wait, somebody's missing. Um... I really don't have an opinion. My apologies. The famous director, and my friend. Uh, you should ask someone else. Okay. Could I show him... The photo? No, I don't think I should. There's not really any point. Feels like I'm done talking to him. Okay, I think this is the hint where it says that I'm... I don't have anything more f to get from him. What can you tell me about these designs for a boggy costume? Nothing whatsoever. You're sure you didn't see anything like this while you were filming yesterday? Wait, hold on a minute. What if you- Don't you dare ask. This costume isn't your doing, is it? Made for your movie, I mean? 
My friend, there will be no costumed idiots within the viewfinder of my camera. I can assure you that. And what about your boggy movie? Isn't that going to be, like, a guy in a costume or, or a puppet or, or one of those weird robot things? Technology has been kind to people like me. We no longer have any need for such tomfoolery. I can create a perfectly believable swamp creature within the confines of a computer. Much cheaper, too. Huh. Okay. I suppose you've met with our murder victim, Richard Remington. Yes, I've been in and out of this place for a while now. Naturally, I've crossed paths with Remington a number of times. Good value, that one. A real reconteur, you know. You liked him? So far, I'm getting the impression he wasn't the most popular guy around here. Well, that much is clear, isn't it? The man obviously slipped up somewhere, made an enemy or two, and bam, that's that. You just can't be too careful, can you? Wow, yeah, okay. I think he did have an enemy or two. Or three. But you liked him. I respected him. Good head on his shoulders. Good business sense, that man. He understood how to make things work for him. Interesting. All right. Uh, let's see where else this way. Right, museum. That music, which is it being held up in wooden supports? It's bizarre. Oh, okay. Hello, There's a little I'm door back. On the wall here. No, 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 no. I want to talk to you. Hmm. I found these designs for a boggy costume. Oh, some ridiculous new merchandise for tourists to waste their money on. No, I believe the murderer was dressed like this last night when they attacked Remington. If they were trying to scare him out of the swamp, they should have spent more time making an accurate design. What do you mean? <laughs> well, this design is some bizarre hybrid between the real creature and the cartoon character. It right? simply hasn't been researched properly. What's wrong with it? Well, those flippers? Pure guesswork. Nothing but foolish imagination. Nobody knows what Boggy's feet look like. No footprint has ever been recorded. So tell me, Special Agent Folder, how would you do a better job researching it if nothing has ever been recorded? Oh, well, that's, you know, I mean, it's all a matter of taking the time to... It's just that but there's no way anyone would believe nothing but foolishness. <laughs> I think I caught him saying something, uh... Illogical. So what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? We didn't really have one, and now we definitely don't have one. But look, all I can say is that he was a coward who enjoyed watering down history for his own benefit. What does that mean? It means there are some chapters of this swamp's history that he never wanted anyone to know about. Did he oh. like you sniffing around this museum all the time? I don't think he knew, to be honest. And even if he did, there's nothing he could have done about it. He has no right to this building. He knows that. We both know that. Why not? It was part of his tourist attraction, wasn't it? Hmm. No. It wasn't. Wait, what? It wasn't? That was such a... That was such a... Straight up... Uh... Straight up? Just like... Shut down of the question? Uh... Um... You're wasting your precious time, detective. Yeah. Next time, only show me something if it's important. Let's make that a rule. Fine, alright. Yes, there's nothing else Let's that I can it. get from him. Well, first... Let's move on. Oh, hey, you're here now. Oh! Aha! The great detective returns. Did you run out of ideas? Need a little push in the right direction? I'm getting a new idea. It involves ignoring you. The other one needs a little push. <laughs> okay, I guess... I guess it would be good to have some direction. No need to push me, but the direction would help. <sighs> Like it or not, I'm here to help you. I get it. You give me a map, then you magically disappear and hide behind a tree for an hour. You want me to be impressed? Did you talk to all the suspects yet? I I'm working on it. You can't rush these things, you know. Have you noticed anything unusual? I notice that this is going to take longer than I originally planned. 
And I get the <laughs> feeling that I wasn't wrong about this tourist attraction. What do you mean? I had a hard time believing there could be a place like this here in a dark corner of a swamp. It didn't make sense, and it still doesn't. Some things don't make sense straight away. You need to look a little closer. At what? The mud? The water? The trees? Nope. They've been here for years, and they're not to blame. They belong here. She's gone again. Hiding in a bush, no doubt. I wonder if she'll ever tell me something I can actually understand. Yeah, indeed. I don't understand anything. Take a closer look, huh? Hmm. Hello, let's ask you more questions. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot more. Wait, I checked this already. Ah, I checked let's this. Let's see. Now. First, then tap. Yep, I think it's all just green, right? And now. So it's all the same thingy. Got it! Now I know what. I'll write it down. Hmm. This was the exact same liquid. Yeah. Wait, is the liquid the, um. swamp juice? Let's see. First thing we then tap the. Alright, I think now, it is swamp juice. Unless it's. Covering Got the swamp it. juice. Now I know. I'll write it down. What's going on here? That was definitely the same as the other tests. Let's see. First thing, then tap. Gotta be thorough. And now. We gotta check everything. Got it. Now I know. What I'll write it down. The swamp slime. It's all the same. Yeah. It's the exact same liquid again. There's something about that green slime. Uh, my hairstyle <laughs> is proof that found at a crime scene and The fireplace poker, found at the crime scene, and the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Sally's leggings. They link her with the crime scene. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, nice. Okay. So we unlocked it for her. I found these designs for a boggy costume. Do you know anything about them? You're asking me because you can tell I'm experienced with needlecraft and sew my own clothes? No, uh, but yes. that's a good reason. Let's go with that. Well, these designs look like they should have stayed where they were. In the trash? On paper. Oh, uh, how come? Whoever drew them didn't really know what they were doing. You would have done it differently? Of course. I am a seamstress. There was a time when I considered sewing my craft. My livelihood. Really? When Richard Remington arrived in the swamp years ago, I offered him some of my handmade fabric as a peace offering. I don't think he cared much for it. Most likely he threw it away. A pointless gift from some strange woman. I wonder if it's the curtains, actually. You've been here so long, you must have crossed paths with Remington a few times. What did you think of him? That man was a threat to the swamp. We'll be better off without him. Hopefully, the curtain will fall on his little tourist attraction as well. Better off? With a killer on the loose now? There have been murderers loose in the swamp before. What are you talking about? In my time here, I've seen the swamp invaded by men. By hunters. Several oh. times. They're relentless. What were they hunting? Wait, what about Boggy? Is that why no one has seen him in 60 years? They always fell short of their ultimate goal. That just meant they came back again and again, doing more harm each time. But this area is protected by law, right? It is now, but some men have no respect for laws. Yeah, that's true. Kind. 
They tried to get me to leave my home. I stood my ground. Obviously. But this whole area is a tourist attraction now. I doubt Remington would have allowed anyone to march into Boggy's Bog with a gun and start hunting down his main attraction. Wow, okay, she has no comments for that. Uh, what was I gonna show her? Ah, this one. No, thank you. Oh, okay, I guess that's not the thing that... Yeah. That she gave him. She's been here a long time. Yeah. I need to unlock this. Wonder how to unlock that. If you bring me something with liquid on it, I might be able to help you. Okay. Mm. Right, let's just go back. I think we could still come back to her anyway. Let's check out the hunter guy. Hunter guy? The, yeah, the friend, mm. Harper. You said you knew Remington? He and I knew each other for a long time. I came to work at his tourist attraction in the early days, when he needed help. Well, what kept you here? I know most people wouldn't want to work in a place like this. I actually like it here, so I was happy to oblige. You might like it, but I still don't see why anyone would build a tourist attraction here. Mr. Remington has his reasons. He probably had several. I don't presume to know what they all were, even though we <laughs> okay. were friends. He Ooh. had some secrets, some hobbies, that I was happy to let him keep secret. Secrets? Hobbies? A secret hobby? He was a man with a dream, I can tell you that much. Ah, oh, feels like I'm done talking to him. Oh, okay. Wait, what was it that I wanted to show him? Don't remember now. Wow, my brain is really not working. Um, oh right, the uh, the uh, picture, uh, hunting photo. One of Mr. Remington's secrets, I never wanted to know the details, but these men travel the world seeking mysterious animals to hunt. They consider myths and legends to be the ultimate prey. I see, okay. Um... I can't help you with that one, sorry. Why don't you show that to someone else? <laughs> Alright. I guess, okay. I guess there's nothing else I could um, get from him. Oh wait, maybe this one. You don't know everything, I'm afraid. Right, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Let's go then. Hello. Uh. So what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? I didn't have one. I think I spoke to him twice, ever. He usually seemed really busy, but more like preoccupied. Preoccupied? Like he was thinking about something else? Something that wasn't this choice attraction? Who can say? What do old men think about? <laughs> what? 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 I, are you implying that I know the answer to that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go for this. The black leggings you found in your bag this morning. They're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in this swamp is covered in slime. What's your angle, Grimoire? Uh... This, this one. exact slime nope. hasn't been found anywhere oh, else. Well. And let's think about this one again. Oh, leggings you found in your I'm so glad morning. that um, they're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in this swamp is covered in slime. What's your angle, Grimoire? I'm so glad that it's not a hot lock and that I can repeat it. Your black leggings were part of the murderer's costume. A costume? Is that why someone took them out of my bag last night? Well, you know, I don't have proof someone else took them. If I had been wearing them when I committed a crime, do you think I would hand them over to a detective the second he shows up? Besides, look at them. What do you notice? Uh, 
Far too long. Yeah, they're loose and stretched. They're loose and stretched. That's right. Someone else. Someone larger than me has worn these. They're stretched out, especially at the waist. It's pretty obvious. So, let's see. Somebody stole them to use in the body costume, and then put them back in your bag when they were done? If you say so. It's not my job to know all the details. It's my job to sell souvenirs. Do you want a souvenir? <laughs> oh, uh, no but, thanks. Yes, uh, but only what? if you choose one for me. Hmm. You look like you could use something to wind up. You can take this one. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, thanks, I guess. Huh, I wonder what's all this question mark stuff. And I wonder if I'll be able to unlock it. Right, so I'm done talking. Oh, no. Wrong way. Uh, who else can I talk to? I don't... Oh, you're here now. It's the base of a gigantic tree. No, Was no, this no. entire place built already? No, no, I want to talk to her. You again. Ready with some cryptic advice, no doubt? Don't let them take him. Who? Huh? The, the murderer? That's my job. I got to make sure that no, they... No, the creature. Don't take him away. This place is his home. Oh, oh, Boggy. Uh, hey, don't worry. I didn't really believe he could be uh, responsible for this mess. You, you didn't? Well, no. Uh... <laughs> this is definitely not the right answer. Oh, maybe I should... Yeah, maybe this is the right answer. I should make her try to help me more, I guess? I don't believe he could ever hurt anyone. So, he won't get in trouble? He won't have to leave? Well, he's been out here for what, 60 years, hasn't he? And stayed out of trouble for that long? I have a feeling some detective isn't going to change all that in one day. Well, in that case, he says... He says thank you. Oh. Okay. Um. Has been unsuccessfully haunted in the past. Yeah. I don't think this. Not suspicious. Not suspect not not suspicious. Not 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 suspicious. Something's still missing from that though. This one. Hmm. Hmm. Uh I think I've talked to everyone, right? Maybe I should check back with the... This ah, guy. Try and solve every suspect's challenge topic. If I you're did. struggling, don't forget to present profiles and clues to people who might be interested. Oh, and hurry up. It's cold in this boat. <laughs> right. Wow. Thanks, I guess. That's where I need to go. I can switch to walk mode with the button in the... Oh, and if I'm feeling confident... I can turn off those sparkly hit icons in the- No, thank you. I think I'll keep them on. Uh, right. As an opera to- I- oh, Don't oh, forget oh. to- Um... There's a hollow part. Huh. Oh, hey. New person. Hmm. You've arrived at a bad time, my friend. For once, they don't actually want tourists walking around this place. I always arrive at a bad time. It's what I do. I'm a detective, not a tourist. My apologies. It's just, you have the same wide-eyed expression as the kids that come here. <laughs> Running around, spending their parents' money, you know. Hmm, well, you know, it's not every day I visit a swamp full of such unique specimens. 
<laughs> These characters... <laughs> They, it's like it's so easy for them to just um, throw a roast at me. <laughs> it's no problem. You're just thinking what we all thought when we arrived for the first time. Why didn't they put in the bathroom? No, you're thinking this place is beautiful. What a lucky man I am to be here. I Not am, really. Am I? Well, if you say so. Edward Everstone, at your service. That's a pretty cool name. Can I call you Ed? You don't need to. Everyone just calls me Echo. Uh... Why? Because you'd bounce if I threw you against the wall? What? No. Because I always come back. Again and again. Until my job is done. Okay. You're protesting, right? I certainly am. And now that you're here, I'm getting you involved. What does that mean? Yeah, I haven't got time to hold up signs for you. I'm sorry. You simply have to hear my message and take it with you. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Plus, I have a little notebook. What was the first thing you felt when you saw the sign for Boggy's Bog looming over you? Well, I thought it was... I thought. Felt. I felt... Well, something seemed wrong. There wouldn't be a tourist attraction in the middle of a swamp like this. There shouldn't be. <laughs> My job is done. Clearly your brain is working perfectly, Detective. So you're against the tourist attraction? Yeah, uh, let's see. You'd rather this area was kept as a natural habitat, right? Right again. And that precise word, habitat. First and foremost, I'm protesting for animal rights. Well, okay, I'm okay. following you, but... It's not like they're cutting down trees or anything like that, right? All animals deserve the right to live in peace, and I promise you, on a normal day, this place is far from peaceful. Are you talking about the swamp creature? About Boggy? A creature like that. He's earned the right to be left alone. We're fools to invite ourselves into his home like this on a daily basis, assuming he's not going to mind. Assuming he'll keep to himself and let us walk around with his face on our t-shirts. Well, I agree. I think he should be left alone. But like you said, he can probably handle himself. And if no one has even seen him in 60 years, I don't really see the problem. Unlike you, Detective, I never had an academic calling in life. I was never even a talented artist or musician or anything. So instead, I made the decision to stand up for those who were getting a raw deal. Is this our murderer? He does seem to have a motive. Thinking that if he kills Remington, he'll get rid of the tourist attraction? You come here every day. Yes, I do. Well, I'm only going to ask you about one of those days. What were you doing yesterday evening? I was here at my protest spot until fairly late. Then I went to get something to eat at Harper's Cafe before I- Wait, you ate at the cafe here? Doesn't supporting the tourist attraction like that kind of go against your protest? A man has to eat, doesn't he? I don't think the meager contributions of one person are going to keep this place afloat. Especially now. And you're sleeping here? Doesn't it get cold at night? Well, I came prepared, of course. I usually find myself with one or two extra layers to wear. Most of this bulk is padding, I promise you. I'm sure it is. So, you stayed here the whole night? That's right. And I admit, I may have heard some stranger than usual sounds floating around the swamp last night. Oh, what do tell. It's impossible to say. This place fills with the most terrifying sounds at night. Hundreds of animals, some tiny, some much larger, awaken and make their own protests. Every night until the sun rises in the morning. Insects make noises at night. Okay, I've written it down. <laughs> okay. What can you tell me about these designs for a costume? A boggy costume? It's boggy! I must admit, I've been a fan of his before I ever came to the swamp. A fan? So you're interested in cryptozoology? Oh, no, I meant, well, Boggy has been in all kinds of cartoons and comic strips. He's one of the greatest characters of the last 100 years. I've got some comics in my tent. You really should see- but He was only discovered 60 years ago. Oh, that's true. 
Well, I bound it up. But what about his costume? Have you seen anyone wearing it? I can honestly say I've never seen anyone wearing anything like that. And I'm a very observant person. You're getting more suspicious as the conversation goes on. <laughs> so what did Mr. Remington think of you? I mean, protesting in the middle of a swamp every day. It wasn't his swamp. If he ever truly thought it was, and he was even more of a fool than he seemed. But he didn't like you hanging around, right? That man was exceptionally skilled at ignoring me. Ignoring anything he didn't like. So, what, he just left you alone? He expected me to get bored and go home. He figured I'd get sick of this place and he'd have it back to himself. But he didn't want it to himself, did he? He wanted lots of people to come visit all the time, surely. Hmm, I'm sure it says that in the brochure. Yes. Oh. I'm afraid I have no idea. Uh... Show it to somebody else. This is the journal, correct? The one that man left here 60 years ago? You seem a little unsure of the details. Shouldn't you have read up on all this stuff? Forgive me. It's hard for me to get the image of Bucky as the lovable cartoon character out of my mind. He's just so iconic. Did you know, in 1973, he... But you're protesting to protect the real swamp creature. The cartoon character is just some commercial byproduct, right? Yes, yes, of course. He is so suspicious. I... I think he might be the killer, actually. Hmm... Hmm... What? You're not a bad detective. Well, I found the photo in Remington's office. It was ripped up, though. I think he was some kind he of... He was a lot of things. Don't lose that picture. And show it to Mr. Harper before you leave. Wow, okay. I did show it to Harper, though. But Harper didn't really say anything much, right? Hmm... The murder victim. Since last night, yeah. But he was the owner of Bonky's Bog. Did you know him? Not personally. To be honest, I'm quite glad about it. He seems like a good person. He even sympathizes with my cause. He agrees with your protest? But he works here, right? And he was friends with Remington. I think that was the only reason he worked here. Maybe he'll see the light now and leave the swamp behind him. Maybe everyone will. Why is he... <laughs> okay, I think I need to go one whole round again to ask the others about this person. Maybe it will unlock the challenge. Thingy. Uh -huh. I really don't have an opinion. My apologies. Okay. Um, I don't think these people would know him, though. I'm sorry, I have not seen that before. Okay. Um, right. This area is kind of empty. No, 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 no. Uh, wait, what? No, wrong one. This one. I'm a busy man, and this doesn't look like it's worth my time. Okay, fine. Um, uh, up here. Oh wait, up here is not. It's the. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Oh yes, I know him. He occasionally asks me about the history and biology of the swamp creature. I explained to him what the real Boggy looks like and how they changed his appearance for the cartoon character. Why did he ask about that? Because some people are naturally curious. You should give it a try sometime. Hmm. Okay. So, you found it. I wonder who else knows about it. 
Interesting. Maybe I should present that clue to the um, director guy as well. You're wasting your precious time, detective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, let's go back to... I think it's the clearing, yep. <laughs> if you want an autograph, a plain sheet of paper will suffice, thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow, why am I... surprised? It's a stepping stone. No, 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 no. Well, I guess I could just do this. Treehouse, yep, let's go there. Um, I you recognize some of those men. Unfortunately, they've hunted in the swamp before. Before it became a protected area? Before that, yes. And one of them after that. Oh, who? I still haven't unlocked that though. If you bring me something with. Hmm, okay. Show it to someone who doesn't live in a tree. All right. Fine. Hmm. Yeah, I did show. That's Mr. Remington's old hunting rifle. He usually keeps it around. For whatever reason, he was very fond of that thing. Looks like it was fired recently. Buy it recently as well. Hmm. It's Mr. Remington's fireplace poker. This slime on the handle. It's for Mirger for some reason. It's here a lot. I think he's been putting less effort into his protest recently. Which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk, just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat, nothing of real importance. Yeah, it's starting to feel like that's the um, actual murderer. He's way too suspicious, you know? Uh, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I have a pretty good view of him from here. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay in my book. His protest used to have a bit more energy, though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. And what's he doing in there? I'm happy to say, I don't know. <laughs> there might be something I can ask Echo about. Okay. Um. Echo. Only required. Spends less time holding. Spends more time holding. Oh, I guess the swamp. More time in his head in his tent. Yeah. Echo spends less time holding the protest sign and more time in his tent. Echo spends less time holding the protest sign and more time in his tent. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's been nice. doing that's more important than his protest. Okay. Okay. Um. So now we're just left with the lady in the treehouse that I've not unlocked the... I've not unlocked the um, challenge uh -huh. for. I heard you've been spending less time protesting recently and more time... Uh, in your tent. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask- Untouched people have even noticed something like that. I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So, you admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Well, if it's not worth writing down, maybe it's worth hearing. In that case, you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would- Echo in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. Let's work out why Echo was hidden away in his tent. Notebook time. I have a silly nickname. Um... Rain? 
Maybe? Ghost? It can't, it can't be ghost. Was it boggy? Mm, tax. Is he avoiding tax? You've been in your tent because it's been raining. <laughs> Why not? Oh, why does it feel like that's... I heard oh. you've been spending less I time can protesting do this recently again. and more time... Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask... I've touched people, have you even noticed? I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So... Yes. You yes. No. Yes. In Let's just skip it. <laughs> Let's work out notebook time. Okay, let's try this. You've been in your tent hiding from Boggy. <laughs> hiding. Um. Right. Those are definitely wrong, I guess. Boggy is my prime suspect, you know. The creature you're trying to protect. Protect is the wrong word. If your suspicions were correct, we could both agree he's a creature that doesn't need protecting. You think he might be the murderer? I think he's a wild animal, and he wants to be left alone at any cost. Maybe he's hiding from Texas then. Ghost? I feel like all the options would make him... I and I blah blah blah, let's go, let's go. I want to try to see if it's all going to. You've been hiding in your. Have the, the same. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I think it's all going to be the same. I heard you reply. And I, I usually. In that. Howdy. <laughs> Notebook time. You've been hiding from the tax man. <laughs> mm, okay. Am I gonna leave it at tax man? Eh, yeah, fine. Why not? Uh, let's ask I you have about her. to say about them. Oh wait, how about her? You're asking the wrong person. Okay. Okay. These flower pet Oh, maybe I should ask um ask uh Harper about the lady. <laughs> you have a lot of suspects on that list. Oh. Right. Fine. Uh what else? What else? Why don't you show that to someone else? Mm, I'm stumped now, like really stumped. Can I ask her about... It's a humble gift shop. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, I really don't know what to tell you. Okay. Um... This was taken near the forest at the back of the swamp, correct? Yes, I think so. Mm hmm The water is really clear back there. The legs of this thing are reflected in the bottom half of the photo. It's a nice shot, actually. A reflection? Oh, yeah, of course. A reflection in the water. Is that one of your clues? It's nice. You can put it away now. Oh, maybe I should show the flowers to the lady. Oh, did I? Mm -hmm. There's samples of flowers that grow in this area. Two of them you don't see very much anymore. And one of them only grows around the museum. Okay. Um... 
You can put that away. I can't help you with it. <laughs> All right. What do you know you about Harper? Ask someone else. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. This is a 60-year-old journal. It was on display in a museum. I know what it is. I thought you might. I'm supposed to oh, look to the past, oh, oh. right? Uh, found at Boggy's Bog when cute the swamp creature built a museum because I was living in a swamp when, okay. Discovered by the explorer 20 years ago. Hunted and killed. Became a famous cartoon character. Found at Boggy's Bog when. Was living in a swamp when. The swamp creature. Uh huh. Was living in a swamp when. Oh wait. This. Lady Weybridge was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. Ah, Lady Weybridge. She was living here when Boggy was first discovered by the explorer. Yeah, so she's gotta be over 60 at least. Minimum. But at least I unlocked the challenge now, so let's try it. I've been looking into the history of this place. Oh, really? Did you find anything? Yeah. You. You must be confused. You found me today, when you barged into my house. Remember? Uh, you were living in a swamp when the explorer visited 60 years ago. You created a beef. Oh... This might be... Let's try this You were already living in the swamp when the explorer came here 60 years ago. The explorer? That man they talk about in the museum? The one who originally discovered Boggy. You know who I'm talking about. His sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You already have his journal. You learned to read, I assume. What else do you need? Uh... Oh... There's a page missing from the journal. I think you know where it is. Why on earth would I know something like that? Because you were the only person here when the explorer visited the swamp. I have a suspicion that the swamp creature wasn't the only thing he discovered. You're suggesting he gave me a page from the back of his journal? Yes, or possibly. That I stole it? Uh... You took it from the journal while it was on display in a museum. You took it from the journal no. while it was on display uh. in the museum. No, wait, that's not right, is it? Oh, okay. Let's do it again. Da 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 You were the original founder. Hold on. Whoops. Okay. Let's do it again. The times to Trump, I suppose. Uh, this one. Yeah. The one. You know. Uh. This one. Because you were. Or what? Stole it from him before he left the swamp, I guess. I really have no idea if I could if I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. Let's try this. So nope. I. No. Oh, whoops. Okay. I guess it's fourth times the charm. Uh, here. The, you know who it's I'm also about. interesting that they switch the positions of the uh, answers the options. You're, 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 or what? Um, this one. I really have no idea. If I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. It doesn't belong in a museum. It belongs here with me. You understand? What if I promise I'll return yep. it after I finish clearing up this mess? Then I'll show it to you. Is this you? He drew you into his journal? 
It's beautiful. Sixty years ago, yes. He left the page with me. We agreed oh. the rest of the world would manage without it. I think there's something on the back. At least the, um... The, um... Explorer was kind of like, uh... Respectful. How do I see? Oh, I see. <gasps> Interesting. Footprints. Right. Boggy's feet and footprint. He has two toes at the front and one at the back. Right. This page proves the footprints found outside the office were not made by the real Boggy. Well, we already know that, so... Hmm... 96% though. I think it's time I went to talk to Officer James. Oh, thanks for the hint. <gasps> Chapter 4, beginning of the end. Okay. Let's go then. Ah, ah, you finally returned. Well, did you find the swamp creature? Where is he? Uh, I didn't find him. I didn't find him. What? You're not getting paid to wander about aimlessly, Grimoire. Get back out there. Uh, I don't need to. I don't need to. Oh! Wow. Okay. I might be able to finish this today then. Alright, let's power through. Why not? I thought he was our prime suspect. He's well, not. Uh, not anymore. Didn't you find photographic evidence of Boggy from last night? Let me see that photo. Um, I guess it's talking about this one. If that's not Boggy, what is it? It's a costume. I found designs for the costume in a trash can. Not only that, I collected all the pieces of the costume myself. Well, nearly all of them. There's still the one that- But the footprints at the scene of the crime! How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? Well, it's got to be this one. What's this? I thought there were no records of a footprint anywhere. No public records. The footprints at the crime scene don't match the ones on this page. They were just a product of these slippers. A part of the costume. But Grimoire, this costume, it doesn't have claws of any kind. How do you explain the three wounds on the victim's chest? The prongs match up with the wounds perfectly. The handle is even covered in slime, see? Ah, but this swamp slime was one of the reasons Buggy became a suspect in the first place. Surely this only incriminates the creature further. You think wow. so, wouldn't you? But that slime, it's not exactly what you think. Why is this officer, um, my boss? <laughs> he doesn't seem like he's a good officer at all. This stuff is an uncanny resemblance to the so-called swamp slime. A bunch of it was stolen from the storeroom of the cafe, which reminds me. What is that exactly? A poisoned hot dog. It's the second reason that the murderer broke into the storeroom. He put this green powder on the entire supply, just to make sure. To make sure of what? To make sure that Remington got ill and had to return to his office. To make sure Remington got ill and had to return to his office. Remington went back to his office? Alone? Oh, the murder. Dun, dun, dun. I've been looking through your evidence, Grimoire. One piece in particular seems critical to me. I think we need to work the out. Video footage? Vincent Vanderpeer filmed it last night. At the exact moment of the murder, I believe. Well, exactly. I think we can both agree these sounds in the background. They're essential in our mystery. Could you talk me through them? Sure. Just rearrange the descriptions on the left to match the sounds on the right. Okay. Drag them around and keep swapping. All right. And if you want to hear the sounds... Okay. No problem. I can always check my case file if I want to go over my notes. Got it. Creaking... Um... Culprit opens the door. Uh, oh, lands on the planks. Oh no, that's definitely this thud. Uh, drops the metal poker outside. Uh, 
rips off the curtain. This one should be the... Yeah, this one should be it. Bias. Yeah. Rise out in shock as Boggy's, Boggy appears. Oh, Clang. Nope. I think that's yep. it. Ah, excellent. There's just two small details bothering me. First what of is all, it? if Remington ripped off a piece of his curtains, why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? It's in here. Turns out the murderer took that piece of fabric and concealed it inside the head of the costume. Then he fled the crime scene to hide all the parts in different areas of the swamp. Ah, well that's my problem. If Remington fired his rifle, how did the assailant survive and manage to escape? Did Remington miss his target? At point blank? A man of his experience? I don't think so. In fact, the answer to that question is the very last link in our chain. The one thing that has eluded me so far. I'll drag the clue items from the left onto my drawing here, and we'll see what happens when we compare the pieces I collected Ooh. with the original design I found. I'm missing one. Hello, I am the murderer. <laughs> Yep, I'm missing a piece. <gasps> it must Wait, be. You never found the body piece, the torso. It, it must be under the poncho thingy that Echo is wearing. You're right, and I never would have found it. Not lying around, not like the others. But what does this have to do with the murderer surviving the rifle shot? This torso is probably made up of some thick material, Heading. something covering the culprit's entire upper body. I believe it may have even been enough to soften, to soften the impact from a bullet. Aha! Exactly. Well, let's put your theory to the test. Where is that last piece of the costume? Protest. How? We looked everywhere. Not a single clue. Simple. He's still wearing it. Ho oh, ho, I was right. It's Echo. I don't know what you want with me. Sounds like you two were smart enough to uncover the real criminal in this swamp, and lucky enough to have somebody else deal with him for you. You worked it out. He had his rifle on him. He got half a glance at me and pulled the trigger without hesitation. But why would he do that? You were... you were dressed as Buggy. He shouldn't be pointing his gun at a unique scientific specimen, not to mention his main attraction. You're right. It doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? Not unless you're in on the secret. Wait, what? In on the secret? Was here to hunt Boggy. Was Boggy in disguise? Uh Oh god, it can't be proof that leads me to believe our police file. Right, I guess it's this. Our police file leads me to believe Echo was boggy in disguise. No, oh, that doesn't eh? make sense, does it? A secret okay. that Remington kept hidden in this office. Wait, secret? Can't be proved that leads me to believe. Huh? Hunting photo. The hunting photo leads me to believe that this was here to hunt Boggy. Right. The hunting photo leads me to believe Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. Oh, <laughs> how many final chapters are there? The Hunter and the Hunted. A secret society, an order of hunters, seeking out mysterious and elusive creatures. The order goes further than this one man, and much further than this one swamp. The whole thing is kind of distressing. 
I knew something was wrong as soon as I stepped into that office. I'm glad you've finally come around. It's not just But the... what about Remington? He was a member of this... this order? He made Boggy his own personal project. His own... obsession. For years he hunted the creature. The potential perfect addition to his... collection. But he owned the tourist attraction. He set it up himself, didn't he? He did. It was just his way of forming a legal loophole. Since the area became protected, he and his friends were unable to come here for hunting anymore. Boggy's barn was just a front for his own little game. Right. A man pursuing a creature. A creature that might not even exist. And that's why Remington kept a rifle nearby at all times? Well, exactly. He didn't want to take any chances. Now, don't you see? I did this place a service. Did Boggy a service. That creature, he can live in peace again. Can he? You tried to frame him for murder. You wanted everyone to think he was some kind of ruthless predator? Well, think about it. Once he became suspected of murder, they'd have no choice but to shut this whole place down. Everyone would finally realize they had no business here. Uh, how can you know what Boggy wanted? True. But he's not a killer. We didn't have the right. Mmm, I kind of want to choose this. How can you know what Boggy wanted? He might not be what you... Your... Detective. You... You... It's... I... It's finished. Well, don't be angry. You should be glad. It's finally time to leave the swamp. You have... Another job to do. I... I don't know. Not that it makes any difference to somebody like you, but I never intended to kill him. Just to scare him. Convince him Boggy wasn't going to let him live here in peace any longer. But, true to form, he had his rifle on him. You worked out the rest yourself. Uh, it makes a difference. It... it makes a difference. Well, Mr. Everstone, I'm afraid you'll still have to come with us. Fortunately, there's a police station just a few miles down the... <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> wait, it's echo Boggy. What just happened? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Looks like you solved more than one mystery tonight. <laughs> okay. So I guess I did complete the game. Uh, it was at 96% as well. So I wonder what else I'm missing. 4% I'm missing. According to the um, figure on the left. And um, yeah, I think um, to be continued, right? 
there is actually a, not a game, a sequel I suppose, called Tangled Tower. So I wonder if it's a continuation of the of the story, Boggy's story, or no wait, it can't be a continuation of Boggy's story. It's got to be like going after the order. So yeah, I think I'll play that um, next week. Uh, and tomorrow I would con no tomorrow not tomorrow. Sunday. On Sunday, I'll continue to play, um, wait, is tomorrow Sunday? I think tomorrow is Sunday. <laughs> um, on Sunday, I'll continue to play uh, Yakuza 2. So yeah. Yep, I think I'll continue this, uh, continue this. Well, yep, continue this series next week. So comment down if you're interested and uh yeah so far i so far i guess this is a pretty fun ish point and click game it's i think it's um fairly straightforward actually there's not too much that you can miss and um, if you actually do do play this kind of uh, mystery solving puzzle solving puzzle puzzle solving um, games you would find this very easy to um, complete so I think this is a good entry level if uh, entry level game if you are uh, if it's the first time you're playing it the story is quite funny too actually so yeah um yeah uh as you can tell my brain isn't working anymore so i think i'm really gonna go to bed after this so yeah thank you for watching um thank you for lurking and um have a k-tastic day